Hey you guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a very cool keyboard that came out for Android devices created by Microsoft Garage and it's called Hub Keyboard. It's a free um, keyboard, so once you install it, just follow the instructions on how to make it your default keyboard. Once you do that, um, it's going to be, you know, already as your default keyboard when you start texting or, or searching, whatever. This is how it's going to look. Um, this right here is part of um, Hangouts, so don't pay attention to that. This right here is the features that it's adding right here to the keyboard if you want to hide that you just click right there and it'll hide it click again and by default it's going to be right there uh the features added here is clipboard if you tap right there uh you're going to access uh the latest um thing that you copied from any website or whatever or document or if you tap right here you will access history so here you can for example um tap right there anything that you want to uh, paste to your text message and click send and voila just like that that's very cool um and of course you can access anytime any other um text right there copy paste boom um here this is another cool feature but the problem is is that let me go ahead did i hit it click right there right there it's very cool when you hit there it will let you access your um microsoft 365 i think it is um account and from there you can uh, attach like um excel documents uh, powerpoints any kind of document word whatsoever uh it would have been nice if um you can actually access like OneDrive, Google Drive, or your internal storage for documents. That would have been awesome uh, for them to do. But right here, you would all if you have a 365 account, all you got to do is enter your email and your password, and that's it. Once you click there, it will automatically uh, let you search documents that you have on 365. That's very cool. But like I said, it would have been better if they added like uh, Google Drive, OneDrive, or Dropbox, or whatever. Um, here is contacts. So when you tap right there and you start tapping, typing over here, let's say, for example, I keep uh, typing GameStop, click right there. Uh, if you want to share the information for GameStop, you just go ahead and type it, send it, and that's it. Just like that. That's very cool. You don't have to go into your contacts, look for the number right there. You have access to it. That's awesome. Um, here is translate. So, um, we click right there. Here you can see a recent translate uh, translations. If we click right there, you can change uh, what language you want to translate to whatever other language, just like that. Very cool. Uh, right now it's uh, set to Spanish, but like I said, you can change it to whatever other language. And once you t start typing here, like have like, let's go ahead and write something here. Have a great day. Have a great day. Uh, like you see there, it says, Tenga un excelente días. So when you tap on it, boom, it adds it to the, to the text messaging field here. Boom, send it. Tenga un excelente días. Just like that. Very cool. I like the way it translates on the fly, um, whatever you want to type to that person. And you can actually have a conversation with somebody that talks another language. That's awesome. So that's those are the greatest feature of this keyboard. But... Uh, the problem with this keyboard is missing a lot of key features that I, I, I've been used to using on other keyboards. Like, for example, there's no word prediction. If you start typing, like, um, um, cars, there's no word prediction right there at all. There's no um, autocorrect, which is a bummer as well. You start typing, if you miss a word, a letter, it won't correct. It won't add the correct letter, a correct word. That sucks as well. Uh, there is no swiping. Look at that. There's no swiping. That really sucks as well because I'm used to the swiping features on every keyboard that I use. Um, dark. You can't choose a dark theme as well. There's no dark theme. Uh, you only get the white theme. At all. That's it. You're done with that. You don't like the white. Well, you're not going to like the keyboard. Or oh, you got to get used to it. And, uh, of course, the thing that i complaining about the internal files or any other account um for files you can't access it except microsoft 365 that would have been great if you can access any other account besides microsoft 365 um here if you tap and hold here you can access the settings uh, this is where you would for example log into your 365 once you do that 
boom um office yeah, yeah it's office 365 once you do that once you start um, um tap that little letter um little square thing right there boom it'll take you to the files here and that's it uh, these are the extensions that are added by default clipboard documents contacts translator boom that's it if you don't want to see one of them for example documents because it's useless for me you just uncheck it boom and it should not appear now. Um, here you have other things like, for example, key vibration or key sound. If you want to enable those, you could do that. Um, here you have uh, feedback. Yeah. Um, here you got help, uh, privacy policy, license, third party notices. And that's it. Once you have that, let's go ahead back to the keyboard. Let's go back here. Uh, look at that. Now you have clipboard contacts translator but you don't have the document uh, little logo there so um, there you go of course it has a um, dictation if you tap right there now since we enabled the vibration you can actually feel the keys when you're typing which is cool feels very nice um here let's go and tap um did i tap on the key yeah so right now is just gonna go ahead and start listening to whatever you're saying and it's gonna type it just like that <laughs> and click boom okay let's go ahead and click send and there you have it just like that and everything else you know you can access the symbols right here that right there all here you got caps and all that everything else is basically normal just like you same features you will find on a, any other keyboard but other than that guys um the keyboard is free to try you can go ahead and try it out i'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot more updates coming up uh, especially maybe the document accessing that would be awesome if that's one of the first things they do and um auto correction auto correction and auto uh, word prediction would have been awesome if they added and swiping that would be awesome if that if they add all that this would be like my default keyboard forever but guys i just want to share this um keyboard with you guys this was hub keyboard from microsoft for android thanks for watching the video guys till next time